Good y'all, it's your motherfucking boy Julius, man, and we back y'all, you know what I'm saying, with another reaction video for y'all, man, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna say salute, salute to all the motherfucking supporters, man, y'all already know I rock with y'all, man, 1000%, y'all already know what it is, I fuck with y'all, man, cause y'all fuck with me, and that shit ain't never gonna change, man. Real talk, you know what I mean? Like, I, I really appreciate y'all motherfuckers, man, from the bottom of my motherfucking heart. Y'all already know that, you know what I'm saying? My bad, y'all, you know what I'm saying? I got a little cold and shit, man. I caught this little cold a few days ago. Like, I'm just just now getting to the end of it where it's pretty much gone, but I still got a little bit of the sniffles and shit, you know what I mean? My bad and all of that, but... You know, we still got to work, man. We still got to get this shit done. Still got to get it in. Y'all already know, man. Ain't no motherfucking cold and nothing else going to stop me from getting to it. Y'all already know what it is with me, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got the vid. I know a lot of a lot of people try on some shit like, oh, yeah, this nigga probably got... I was already tested. I ain't got the... I ain't got COVID, man. You know what I'm saying? Just a regular cold. You know what I mean? Just a regular motherfucking cold and shit. But it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? We going to work through it, though. Y'all already know. But anyway, um, I hope all y'all doing great, man. Hope everybody out there great and safe and, and healthy and whatnot. And um, yeah, man, we're going to get into this, all right? We got Mises in the motherfucking building, man. You know what I'm saying? With Scribe Cash. I never heard this artist before. So it's going to be something, you know what I'm saying, special for me because I ain't never heard this artist before. You know what I mean? But we know what Mises do. We already know Mises get busy on that motherfucking mic, you know what I'm saying? So it's gonna be what it is. But um, yes, yeah, Mises and Scribe Cash. It's called Devil's Playground, all right? Now I ain't doing no more motherfucking talking, man. You know what I'm saying? We gonna get into this motherfucking feel me. Let's go. Let's see where we at with it, man. Feel me. Headphones on. All right, let's go. Should we up? I ain't never been a stripper. I ain't never so dope. No, no. I keep my okay. clothes on. Don't want to sell my soul. Uh -huh. These labels stay pimping. Uh -huh. These artists in chains. Damn, bro. Right off rip, she going in, nigga. <laughs> right off rip, she going in. She like, I ain't going to sell my soul. I ain't doing no stripping shit or whatever. I'm just motherfucking going in with these bars, nigga, huh? She talking that shit. And a female, too, so that's nice, man. You know what I'm saying? That's nice to see in here. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we ain't hearing a lot of female MCs, you know, female rappers like that nowadays. So it's good that, you know, you know what I'm saying? We got a female on deck today. Feel me? Real shit. And she talking, too. She 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 already talking that shit right off rip. They all say they different. That's the players running game. As a black girl on the industry, they put me in a box. No box. Don't bend it over, no bust it over. You'll never reach the top. I'm tired of all the requirements. Ain't never fitting in. Got real bars with a real message. Ain't got to sell the sin. Excuse me. Damn, she said. I'm 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 tired of the shit, uh, uh, not being able to fit in and all of that. You're like, yeah, like, you know, you got to be a standout. It, you know, if you wanna, you know, if you wanna make noise in the industry today, you really gotta stand out. You really gotta come with some different shit. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be multi-talented. You gotta be able to do a whole bunch of different things. You can't just stay in one lane. You can't just be doing one thing. Like, you gotta be able to do a bunch of different things. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, come on, man. You got to feel that right there. Like, that, that, that's real shit right there, man. I know a lot of artists feel that way. Like, when you sign to a label, you know what I'm saying? These motherfucking labels, they want niggas to do whatever they want them to do. They don't let them have, you know what I'm saying, the creative control that they want or need as an artist. They just throwing all kind of shit at them. Like, yo, I want you to do this, so this is what you're going to be doing. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know... Real great artists, you know what I'm saying? They create their own fucking formulas. They they don't motherfucking try to conform to what 
everybody else is doing. What, you know what I'm saying, the plants, you know what I'm saying, the industry plant motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, what, you know, whatever it is that they doing, the real artists, the great artists don't have to conform to doing that shit. They can motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, they can create their own fucking formula and take it to the next level with something they doing that they made up. You feel me? That's real shit, man. And, 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 and it really ain't a lot of motherfuckers that can do that shit. Uh, you know, like I said, great artists. But there's few and far between. We already know that. It's few and far between, man. Real shit. The music has to have a deeper meaning. What happened to the Lauren Hill and MC like Latifah? Now I right. got his scribe canceled Jesus and some Mises. The devil. Like she paying homage, you know what I'm saying, to the greats, man. Some of the great motherfucking female MCs. You got to pay homage, man. That, that that's how you get farther in, in this motherfucking game. You know what I'm saying? That, that that's how you get farther. You pay homage to the motherfuckers that came before you. You know what I'm saying? The motherfuckers that opened the door for you, that got their foot in the door. You gotta pay homage to them. You you have to do that. You gotta do that. Working overtime with Satan, please believe it. Uh -huh. I ain't Nikki Card and Megan Doja, but I've been a boss yeah. like a pro. That's real shit right there, bro. He said, anything you want in this world is is in the devil's playground. Meaning like, yo, you got to sell your soul to get these things you want. Whatever it is. It could be money. It could be cars. Whatever the fuck it is, man. It's in the devil's playground. If you decide to sell your fucking soul, then you'll get what the fuck you want. Because you sold yourself short. You know what I'm saying? You sold your soul to the devil. So now you got to bond with the devil. You know what I'm saying? Y'all like this now. You know what I'm saying? And and real shit, like, it's fucked up, but a lot of motherfuckers is doing that. They see the easy way out or taking a shortcut. The shortcut is selling your soul to the devil. If you do that, then you good. All you got to do is sign on the dotted line in blood. And it is what it is. It's sad, but that's what's going on, man. We know that's what's going on. And and I really appreciate Mises and, you know, other artists that he work with for putting this type of message out because it's real shit. We already know it's real shit, but a lot of motherfuckers don't want to come to terms with that. But that's what it is. That's what it is, man. Me and Scotty take a pic, but all I keep thinking is how it's such a trip. Why is that? Same sidewalk with these stars on it to celebrate the rich. Yeah. Gets covered by people so poor that they live in their tents. That's intense. Rock bottom meets heaven on earth, but it all makes crazy, sense bro. once you... Well, I gotta go back on that, bro. He says some shit right there. Pick, but all I keep thinking is how it's such a trip. Why is that? Same sidewalk with these stars on it to celebrate the rich. Yeah. Gets covered by people so poor that they live in their tents. That's intense. Rock bottom meets heaven on earth. Oh, oh my God, man. That was, that was a hard bar right there, man. Like, Mises... He keeps it 1,000 no matter what, man. And that's what I love about this dude, man, and his artistry because he always keep it 1,000. He don't give a fuck about who feelings he going to hurt or whatever, man. He don't care about none of that. He's putting it all out there like, yo, I'm keeping it real, nigga. And I don't give a fuck who like it or who don't like it. I can kiss my ass and all of that shit, man. But that's real, though. We need more people like him in the game that talk that real shit, that, that get to the bottom and say what... Other motherfuckers want to say, but too scared to say. You know what I mean? Like, they got it on their heart and, 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 you know what I'm saying, in their mind to say certain things. They want to say the shit that he's saying, but they too fucking scared. They don't want to get canceled. Uh, you know what I'm saying? They don't want to motherfucking be taken out. But, hey, it is what it is, man. You know, you can't be scared to speak up. You can't be afraid to speak your fucking mind, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to speak that real shit and keep it real and authentic. No matter what, at all motherfucking costs. And you got to be willing to sacrifice everything. You got to be motherfucking willing to lose everything 
to stand up for what you believe in. You know what I'm saying? And and let people know, like, I ain't backing down from how I feel. This is how I feel. This is my opinion. These are my opinions and whatever. And that's just what it is. You ain't got to like it, but that's really what it is, nigga. Straight up. But it all makes sense once you learn I'm serving in the devil's church. Look, y'all think I'm playing. Come on. Ain't God that they thinking. Nah. Had a war nah. shows, cause Lord knows they all hell Satan. Man, let me quit playing. People saying, can't believe you ain't making it. I'm sitting back laughing like, I can. What the devil's pie, then you gotta pay the price. And I never will sign with my hand. Don't care what I lose, I ain't playing by the rules of the rule. Lucifer, God's plan. All the ice and gold ain't buying my soul. Left hand on the Bible land. Right hand. Yeah. To the God that the choir singing to. Not the God of this world, and that's the difference too. One created it, saved it, and we call him Father. The other Satan, and you'll praise him if you really want. Nobody favorite power, hello, welcome to the devil's playground. Anything that you want in this world is in the devil's playground. Ain't to bring it to you, there's a price in the devil's playground. Make a kill it, but you lose your life in the devil's playground. I hey, bro. Crazy, yo. Shouts to me, this man. Crazy motherfucking track right there. Y'all yeah, already know how I feel about it, man. <laughs> y'all already know how I feel about it. Like, it's all real shit, man. Like I said, you know, that part where he talking about being a devil worshiper and all of that, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, they put the motherfucking stars, you know what I mean, on the sidewalk to worship the rich. Like, that's what most of the world care about, man. Most of the world only care about the fucking rich. The poor get poorer and the rich get richer. You know what I'm saying? We already know how it go. But most motherfuckers only care about that. Like, you, you know, it's sad with the motherfucking world that we live in. You know what I'm saying? The society that we in now, all they care about is money, man. I know money make the world go round and shit like that, but that's all motherfuckers care about. That's, that's literally at the top of the fucking agenda, the top of their fucking list. A shit that they motherfucking care about, man. All they care about is motherfucking money and being rich and wealthy and shit. Like, everybody should be able to motherfucking get rich and, and live, you know what I'm saying, abundantly and be wealthy if they want to be wealthy and shit like that. Everybody should be able to do it, but that's not how it is. And it's like, you're only put on a certain pedestal if you have a certain amount of money. If your status is at a certain level, financially, you ain't got to worry about a lot of shit. Like, doors are open for you. A lot of things happen off of the strength of somebody being rich or wealthy. Like, and there's levels to being rich is here, wealthy is up here. Like, it don't matter for me, man. I don't care about being rich or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? I just want to be good. Like, I want to be able to live comfortably and do shit that I want to do in my life and not have to worry about money. I don't need to motherfucking be rich. I, I, I never wanted to be rich or wealthy or none of that shit, bro. Real shit. Like, I just wanted to have a comfortable life. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know, man. Shit is crazy. But like I said, you know, at the end of the day, bro, you know, when you worship motherfuckers, that's, that's really a bad look. And this is just my opinion. Like, it's really a bad look. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't supposed to put nobody before God. You know what I'm saying? There ain't supposed to be nobody before or above God. God is number one at all times. God is number one every single day in my life. I can't speak for nobody else, but for me, nigga, God is always first in my life. He always will be, always has been, always will be. That shit ain't never going to change, but it's like other motherfuckers that worship other human beings and shit like that, you know, you got people going to concerts and, you know what I'm saying, it's just like, you know what I mean, how it used to be with, you know, Michael Jackson or Prince or somebody like that. You know what I'm saying? They got the ambulances lined up in the back because they know people are going to be passing out and people be crying and all kind of shit, acting like these people are Jesus, uh, acting like they're God, and they're not. Let's just keep it a thousand, man. Like, these are human beings worshiping other human beings. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be like that, man. You shouldn't worship another human being. I don't care how much you love the artist. I don't care about none of that, man. I don't care how much you love the artist or think you know about the artist or how connected you feel with this motherfucker. Whoever it is, male, female, I don't care, nigga. Rapper, singer, it don't matter. You can't worship these motherfuckers and put them on a pedestal like they're on God's level because they're not. That's all I'm saying. I don't want to drag this out. You know what I mean? We could talk about this at a different time or whatever, but I'm just saying, man, for me, 
That's how I feel about it. But anyway, dope motherfucking track right here, man. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, you know what I'm saying, a nigga just going around, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, you can't help it sometimes, man. When you really feeling it, you know, when I'm feeling it, I got to get that shit out, man. I don't care if it drag time out a little bit or whatever, you know, but... I just got to say what I need to say and say what need to be said at the time that it need to be said. Real shit, man. But um, dope track right here, man. Shouts to Mises. Shouts to Scribe Cash. She dope as fuck, man. I, I'm definitely going to be listening to more shit from her because she dope as fuck. The flow and everything, you know what I'm saying? Like, them two together was crazy. Like, and they make for a good duo, real talk, man. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, man, she's definitely dope as fuck. I'll be listening to more of her music, real shit. Um, yeah, man, but y'all let me know what y'all thought about that right there, man. Let me know what you want me to react to next. Feel me? Like this joint if you was feeling it. Share with your peoples. Tell your friends, your family. Tell everybody about the motherfucking channel, niggas, so we can keep making it grow crazy. All right, y'all? Um... And sub to the channel, man. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't sub to the channel yet, hit that sub button. You already know. And hit that little bell notification up top so you know when your boy drop another vid on y'all. You feel me? And that's it, man. That's all I got for this one right here. But I'll catch y'all on the next one, though, all right? Ow.